Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about a product which I have had in my armory of go-to products for many years in fact. It's all about keeping hair thick, all about keeping hair full, healthy and hopefully fingers crossed, hair loss at bay. It's a product which many men would have passed in a pharmacy or a supermarket or any alike store. That product, of course, is Alpazine. Now, this here has had an awful lot of press, an absolutely huge amount of positives, some negatives, and some not bad and not good. I personally think that Alpazine is a very personal product. In fact, that I think it's ever going to be something which works for you, something which doesn't work for you, or something which you will find works for you, but because of what sometimes it may cost, or because of sort of time restraints, that somebody might start using it, then actually think, actually, I can't keep committing, leaving it on my hair several minutes, I'm on too much of a rush, and actually they may just not use it, and it may fathom out. With Alpazine, I believe, it is all about prevention. Now, even though it says that the product helps against hair loss, or possibly helps prevent hair loss, I believe it's all about prevention. As soon as you are starting to notice changes in your hair, it's a product which you would grab and you would start using. It's certainly, from the outset, it's not a product which if you are losing your hair, so for example you've got patches or you may be very very thin on top and you've got that remaining hair around the sides still very thick, it's then, I don't believe, going to be a product which is going to transform your head into a full head of hair once again. I believe very much Alpazine is a product which is a preventative measure. For example, you're washing your hair, you're noticing over the coming, coming weeks that possibly more and more hair is starting to fall. It would then be a product which you would jump in and use to boost energy on the scalp to hopefully, because of course Alpazine has caffeine in, hopefully then to provide the follicles with much more energy to help anchor the hair to the scalp. And when I say that, all about increasing that hair health with much more energy. So for example, if you have got very little hair and then start using Alpazine, I believe that it would help you hold on to the hair you actually have. Would it help grow any more? No, I categorically believe that, that it will not help you do that. In some respect, Alpazine could possibly be seen as a little bit misleading, especially when it's told, um, very often it's looked at online, I believe, that when some men use the product, I think that the whole expectation is that it's going to cure hair loss, it's going to bring all that hair back. It doesn't. It really doesn't. And I think in a way, it's a bit of a marketing mistake what Alpazine have got. Alpazine is really, really great for a preventative measure. It's not something which is going to absolutely work miracles. I don't believe that, unfortunately. Let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. So Alpazine. So Alpazine is a caffeine shampoo. Um, now you may think, why now? Why am I doing this now? So for a number of years, Alpazine has always been a product which I have turned to if I've had any concerns around my hair, if I'm losing a little bit more hair in, um, in the shower, in the bath, what have you. And it just gives me confidence because after about Two, 10 days, two weeks of using the product, I do see a reduction of, of less hairs when I wash my hair. Do I ever see it that it makes my hair thicker? It's difficult to say, to be quite honest with you, because with Alpazine, when you wash your hair through, it instantly gives you much more grip. It gives a lot more substance to the hair. But often when you use a shampoo for volume or for thickness in hair, whether for women or men, what it does is it makes the hair Yes, thicker, but you have to use heat to really give that hair umph. Whereas with Alpazin, it gives it kind of rigidity. It doesn't make the hair feel really soft and sleek. It doesn't really have too much conditioning elements in there at all. Whereas, of course, other shampoo ranges make the hair quite soft, quite subtle, and then, of course, that falls quite flat. Worst thing in the world is when you use something, it makes your hair feel like glass. So then when you, and when I say that, I mean really soft, really smooth, which, of course, in any other scenario is great. But when you've got fine hair and you're trying to make it look more, that's the last thing actually you want because of course when you then go to dry your hair off after you've shampooed or conditioned what have you and then you dry your hair off it feels like you have very little hair whereas with Alpazin once you've used the shampoo you've left it on for its recommended two minutes I personally leave it for about five ten minutes then wash it off sometimes I use conditioner sometimes I don't if I'm using heat I will always use conditioner but if I'm using a style I'm not using too much heat I'm using it for volume then sometimes I actually skip conditioner it sounds crazy doesn't it but sometimes I actually do that and sometimes that's more recently because what I find is it gives you more rigidity and it gives you a bit of a, a foundation, a construction sort of formulation to start building your style from. 
Now, with Alpazim, does it affect your scalp? Does it make it irritated? Does it make it sore? And you know what? Being very, very honest, if I use this morning when I first wake up, and then when I wash the product out in the evening, I do sometimes find that it does start to, at the nape of my neck, at the back of my neck, and I do wear hearing aids, I'll just show you, so I wear a cross system, and I do have a wireless cross system, but this is a wired system which I have in, and I do find sometimes of using Alpazin, it can just make the bottom of my neck, in conjunction with wearing the hearing aid wire, it can make it quite tender, quite sore, and sometimes a little bit dry. And I do find that is the same around sort of my ears as well. And it is Alpazine because once I stop using it, it goes away. But then of course you have to find a balance. Do you want to hold on to your hair using it as a preventative measure? Can you put up with some occasional dryness? It's a difficult choice to make. I think very often if you were using it out of seven days, if you were using it six days and perhaps at the weekend or in the middle of the week, giving yourself a break using a bit more of a softer shampoo, sometimes that works. What I do if that happens is I actually just use a little bit more conditioner or I make sure that I use conditioner straight away afterwards and then I just put some moisturiser on the areas of my scalp or when I say scalp of course towards the edge here um, and then just really make sure that I look after my skin. Do I like Alpazin? As I've said it's been in my hair sort of armoury of products to go to for years and I want to say actually as young as 16 actually I started using it because of course very often we're all sort of told I never want to lose my hair or a bit of a sort of a shock moment what would happen if you ended up with that sort of comb over which of course is not a problem but it just is difficult for some of us to bear now for me the idea of losing my hair isn't drastic it's just something which I wouldn't really want to happen so I do use products which can keep my hair thick full healthy and if anything stimulating health in my hair follicles or growth. Now caffeine, there's a lot said about caffeine being good for hair, but I will have to admit I don't actually think there's anything which is set in stone which actually says it stops hair loss. I think what it does is it gives that hair the boost of energy which very often hair can need, especially as people get older when of course things get a little bit more, that's in the nicest possible way, things are, po are possibly are not as healthy as they once were, it's not as youthful as they once were. Of course, cell generation slows down. Of course, that hair cycle, hair grows a little bit thinner with age. So anything which we can use to boost that and give it much more energy and to help inhibit things like, and to obviously keep away hair loss and keep it at bay, then great. And if caffeine helps, certainly. As I say, I do think Alpazine shampoo is a preventative measure and a preventative course. I'm not going to say, I see online sometimes it's it's described as like a treatment. No, it's a shampoo. And I think just being really, really blunt about that, a shampoo will never, ever stop hair loss. End of. I'm really sorry to say that. It, it will not. Because, of course, hair loss is so complex. It's to do with what's going on in the body. It's to do with what's going on in the scalp. It's to do with the food you're consuming. It's to do with energy levels. Are you healthy? Is something else going on? Medication, stress? hormones, family history, a whole host of things. So first things first, if you notice any problems with hair loss, speak to a family doctor, speak to a GP or a health healthcare professional. Get all those things out of, out of the way so that you know what you're working with. If it's, um, I'm trying to put this in the nice possible way as well, if it's male pattern baldness or thinning or, or hormone related thinning, which of course so many men have, then of course jumping straight on with something like Alpazine when you wash your hair is a really great shampoo because of course the caffeine boosts the hair follicles with energy. Leave it on for two, three minutes. I like to leave it on a lot longer because of course then those ingredients are having a lot longer to work on the scalp. Okay, and then go from there. But my first thing would always be if you are noticing change in your hair, speak to a medical professional and go from there. There are so many things which you can try, first of all, instead of just saying you're going to lose your hair. It doesn't necessarily have to be as blunt as that. In the end, it may mean that you end up with quite fine hair. But of course, there are so many things which you can slow down. And of course, you can get regrowth back. Very often, if you are young, you're healthy, you're fit well, then you could possibly grow hair back. But what I don't want to say is that a shampoo such as Alpazine can do that. Um, and I think it's it's very it's important to be honest. Now the reason why I keep coming back to it is because I find that it makes my hair personal choice. Somebody else might say you're absolutely talking rubbish, but I find it makes my hair grow a little bit longer, uh, a little bit quicker, and I find that it makes my hair feel a bit thicker, which is great. I find that it always makes the little tiny hairs in my um, hairline around where I'm pointing out now a bit more fuller, a bit more thicker, and helps them come through a bit more healthier. 
I have to admit that I've used it for quite a long time now. I'm now 26. I believe I've used it. I'm just I'm thinking I've used it since about 16 when I left school. And since then, I've used it on and off throughout the year. I keep coming back to it. Very often I use the Energizer, the liquid which you can buy with it. At the moment, I don't have that, um, but I do sometimes use it. But the shampoo is always in my family home. Um, it's always in my go to products for using on my hair. And I absolutely really, really enjoy using it. And I find that it does just reduce the amount of hair that I lose. But I don't want to say that it does that for stopping hair loss. I think it slows things down. It gives you much more energy in your scalp and it just helps things. And you know what? If it turns out in the future that it does help against hair loss, then great. You're using it as a preventative measure, which is fantastic. Now, let's look into it a little bit more in detail. So on the packaging. So Apizen doesn't ever change on the classic bottle. Really great. Really stands out. No problems at all. Really love it. So Alpazin caffeine shampoo stimulates hair roots during washing with patented skin activator C1 reduces hair loss. Again, little bit misleading, reduces hair loss. Yes, it does. But does it clinically? Does it actually truthfully? Um, who knows? But of course, it's very, very personal. If it works for you, fantastic. Keep using it as a preventative measure. I will be very honest, it does make a difference in the amount of hairs I lose when I wash my hair, when I style my hair, um, that sort of way as well. Um, and it's just a great product I've used for a very long time and I will keep using it. And it's all about, does Alpazin really work? And actually, does it stop hair loss? I'll be honest, I don't really know. Does it work for me? I think so. And does, does Alpazin slow down hair loss? I think it probably would do. But overall of my big question here, does Alpazin help with hair loss? I believe preventatively. As a preventative measure, jump in and use Alpazin and judge it for yourself. Don't take anybody's word for it. It's very, very personal. Everybody is different. Hair loss is very, very complex. So the answer to what I have put on the front of my clip, does Alpazin help with hair loss? I'm going to say you use it, you make your own decision and you will actually be able to draw your own conclusions. For me, I think it works as a preventative measure. OK, let's get back to it. So let's look on the back here. So strengthens weakened hair roots, prevents hair loss as a preventative measure. There you go. I completely agree with that. The shampoo that stimulates hair growth directly at the roots. Now, I would probably agree with that because I do find that I'm going when I'm in between my haircuts. Of course, nobody is at the moment with the pandemic or the coronavirus going on. But I do find that when I'm using it, it does boost my hair and does grow a little bit faster, which, of course, is always an added bonus. And it always makes my hair feel quite full and thick as well, especially at the roots. A daily hair wash with C1 immediately provides the hair roots with the activating ingredients. The Alpazin caffeine can be detected after being left left on for just 120 seconds. If left on for longer, more caffeine will be absorbed into the scalp. Application. Leave on the scalp for two minutes from application to rinse. This shampoo does not contain any softening silicones, so your hair will immediately have more grip, which it does. How often do you have to use it? Daily to keep those ingredients up, to keep that effect of that preventative measure daily. Use it in the morning, use it in the evening if you're wearing hair product in your hair, and it will keep your scalp healthy, clean, but just be careful. It will, I hope, work for you as a preventative measure. But what I don't want to do if you're watching this and you have got very little hair or you've got quite see-through hair, I don't believe it's going to grow your hair back. OK, let's move on slightly. OK, so ingredients here. And I like the way on the, on the bottom it puts here. Information port for competitive athletes. Alpers and caffeine can be detected in hair follicles, which is really great. Gives you the heads up. Pardon the pun for if you are, of course, in that um, industry or if you are into sports and, um, and, and, and you think it could be an issue for you. Of course, you've got that heads up there on the information, too. OK, so that's Alpazin. And what I would say is and another thing which we haven't actually covered is, of course, cost. Alpazin really, to be honest, never really varies in cost. It's always around the five pounds mark. I think for a product which is potentially good for helping with hair, boosting hair growth, boosting hair energy, and of course, as a preventative measure, or possibly working for slowing down hair uh, loss and for helping hair feel thicker and fuller, giving it a try at that price, no one's going to be a loss, to be honest with you. They do bigger bottles. And of course, Alpazin has a whole different range, which I actually have got another review from quite some time ago on the Alpazin products as well. So have a look from my channel. And have a look and have a look at that one as well. OK, so hopefully you found this one useful and draw your own conclusions from it. I would urge you to give it a try if you are worrying about hair. Seek medical advice first of all and then see what you're dealing with. Then have a look at products on the market. 
fast stops, have a look at Alpazen. OK, thank you very, very much for watching my clip. And I have really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you have too. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.